Well, hello friends and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode, I will make a comparison between two excellent endurance road bikes. So in one corner, we have a Cannondale Synapse Carbon 2 LE road bike. And in another corner, we have a Trek Domani SL6 uh, Generation 4 road bike. So you see these two endurance road bikes are absolute legends in the world of endurance road bikes. And recently I got a question about these two bikes, which one should you go ahead and buy? So definitely this episode is about the comparison between two of them. So let's start with the Candle Synapse Carbon 2 LE with a retail price of 4,500 US dollars. And also when you look at the Trek Domani SL6, this one has a retail price of 4,700 US dollars. So they sit in a definitely the same price bracket, which is definitely not a cheap price bracket, but this is now a standard situation with all kinds of road bikes on the market. If you want to buy anything decent carbon fiber, you will probably come very close to 3,000 US dollars and then uh, go above. When you look at the Cannondale Synapse bike uh, and the paint scheme on offer, there's only one paint scheme on offer, which is this smoke black paint scheme. I mean, it's a totally blacked out uh, bike. Nothing uh, special I can add here. If you like it, okay. If not, unfortunately, you are stuck with only this one paint scheme with Cannondale. On other hand, when you look at the Trek Domani, you have two paint schemes on offer. One is this classical uh, Trek uh, set in black, totally, you know, blacked out bike again. But then you also have this beautiful, in my opinion, hex uh, blue paint scheme. I would definitely go with this metallic uh, hex blue paint scheme with this Trek Domani, just because it looks uh, absolutely stunning. Okay, you also might ask yourself a question, who is this bike for? I mean, when you are looking at both uh, Cannondale Synapse or Trek Domani road bikes, they are a classical example of endurance road bikes. So if you are in the market for uh, looking for a comfortable bike, something that you can spend long days in the saddle and really have a relaxed geometry, then definitely these two bikes are absolutely should be absolutely at the top of your list. Okay, now when we have sorted the paint schemes on this bike, we can dive into the specifications and really see what do you get for your hard earned money. And as always, uh, we can kick off with the frame and the fork on these bikes. And specifically, let's kick off with the Cannondale. So when you look at the Cannondale's frame and the fork, what are you getting? So it is a carbon fiber synapse uh, frame and also carbon fiber fork from Cannondale. Cannondale here has incorporated the threaded bottom bracket, flat mount disc brakes, of course, a bit of internal cable routing, and you will also have uh, 12 millimeter two axles, both uh, front uh, and back. I'll just mention here that this uh, uh, Cannondale Synapse LE model comes with their smart uh, sense uh, system of sensors. In this case, uh, LE model comes with their lights, so front and back light with the lighting sensor. You also have another version of this bike which comes with the radar on the back, which can also track the traffic that's going on behind you and also alert you in some kind of onboard computer that you are using. So this is kind of the secret sauce that Cannondale is offering here with their smart sense. But generally speaking, uh, when it comes to uh, Cannondale's carbon fiber frames, of course, you are getting a lifetime warranty on these frames. And this Synapse uh, carbon frame is an absolute you know, legend when it comes to a nice, smooth endurance frame design. So it's definitely going to soak up a lot of the road bumps and it's a very, very smooth frame to ride. Okay, on another hand, when we look at the Trek Domani SL6 bike, so what are you getting here when it comes to the frame and the fork? So the frame here is the 500 series OCLV uh, carbon fiber frame from Trek with their ISO speed decoupler on the back. So you see this ISO speed, what does it mean? It means that basically your seat tube can independently move from the top tube and the seat stays. So it is, you know, a patented solution from Trek. It's a superb solution. And definitely anybody who has ridden this Trek Domani with the ISO speed decoupler, this is the secret sauce of this bike. And it's definitely more comfortable bike than the Cannondale Synapse. There is no arguing about it. This Trek Domani, 
as far as I am aware, is the most comfortable endurance bike currently on the market. Also with this uh, carbon frame, you are getting internal cable routing, flat mount disc brakes front and the back, and the 12 millimeter two axles front and the back. Fork on the bike is again the Trek Domani SL carbon fork with the tapered carbon steerer, 12 millimeter two axles. And also the same stuff as Cannondale, Trek is offering a lifetime warranty on their carbon frames. So basically when you look at both of these carbon frames and forks, there's not much in it. They are just, you know, it's, it's going to be excellent quality from both of them. And I will just mention here that the biggest secret sauce with Trek Domani is the Trek's ISO speed decoupler at the back, which is definitely going to contribute to a bit more, you know, smoother ride than the Cannondale uh, Synapse bike. Okay, now we can move on and have a look at the drivetrain on these bikes. So when you look at the Cannondale uh, front mech, rear mech shifters, Everything is a superb a Shimano 105 Di2 electronic group set. So this is the latest uh, 12 speed group set uh, from Shimano. Absolutely superb. There is no you know, discussion about it. It's gonna work excellent. And I'll just mention here that in this case with the Shimano 105 Di2 group set, shifters in the front mech are communicating wirelessly and you have a cable from the rear mech to the uh, front mech. Also, when you look at the chain and the crank set on the Cannondale bike, chain again, Shimano 105 12 speed chain, crank set, Shimano 105 50 34 chain rings, and the cassette again, Shimano 105 12 speed, in this case, um, 11 34 cassette. So you have a 1 1 gear ratio, absolutely superb for an endurance road bike. You can easily climb any steep mountains and spend a lot of days uh, and hours in the saddle. Of course, here bottom bracket, as I mentioned, it is a threaded BSA bottom bracket, which is excellent for servicing. Your local mechanic is definitely gonna like you. The same thing when you look at the drivetrain on the Trek uh, Domani bike is the same group set. So Shimano 105 Di2 electronic group set, shifters front mech, rear mech, crank set also Shimano 105, 5034 chain rings. Uh, bottom bracket on the Trek bike is the Praxis T47 threaded bottom bracket. Again, superb stuff, easy to service. Local mechanics will love you. And the cassette on the Trek bike, Shimano 105, 11, 34. And the chain they are using here, the mountain bike Shimano SLX 12 speed chain. Again, superbly fine. I have no complaints here. So when you are looking at the group sets of both of the bikes, absolutely the same stuff. And there is absolutely no complaints when it comes to the uh, Shimano's 105 Di2 electronic group sets. It's just gonna work uh, perfectly fine. Now we can have a look at the braking system on both of these bikes. On the Cannondale Synapse, you are getting a Shimano's 105 hydraulic disc brakes front uh, and the back, flat mount disc brakes with 160 millimeter braking rotors front and the back. And these are the basic Shimano's RT70 braking rotors. Perfectly fine out of the box. The only thing in the future I can suggest you is to buy yourself a Shimano Tegra braking rotors when you destroy these or something from the Shimano mountain bike world like Shimano SLX XT rotors. But always keep in mind that this size 160 millimeters front and back is absolutely perfect. So braking performance with the Cannondale Synapse, superb, no complaints here. The same thing when you look at the, <clears throat> when you look at the Trek Domani bike, when it comes to the to the braking performance of this bike. It is again Shimano 105 hydraulic disc brakes, both uh, front and the back, and also Shimano's RT70 braking rotors, 160 millimeters front and the back. So the same braking system, the same applies what I just said about the Cannondale Synapse. So everything superb, no complaints here. Now we're gonna see the first big difference between these two bikes, it is the wheel set. So the Cannondale Synapse is using a combination of DT Swiss R470 aluminum rims with the stainless steel spokes and the hubs are from Formula. Formula CL hub at the front and Formula uh, RXC hubs at the back. So this is a classical aluminum wheel set where uh, this wheel set comes with the Vittoria Zafiro, the Vittoria Zafiro Pro tires, 30 millimeter tires front and the back. So it's excellent, a lot of air volume inside definitely a smooth bike ride. And I would expect this classical aluminum wheel set to be something around 1,900, 2,000 grams out of the box. 
On the other hand, when you look at the Trek Domani SL6 bike, of course, they are using their own in-house brand of wheelset, which is the Bontrager. In this case, this is the Bontrager Paradigm Comp 25 wheelset tubeless ready wheel set. So this is uh, again a classical example of the aluminium wheel set uh, from uh, Trek. It is a tubeless ready. I believe that uh, the Trek uh, should convert it immediately to the tubeless tires as it is, but please just uh, double check this uh, with, the, with the Trek shop. If not, you can easily convert it with uh, tubeless tape, uh, tubeless valve and sealant. That's not a big deal. And I'll just mention here that this aluminum wheel set uh, from Bontrager uh, has the total weight of about 1,900 grams. With, uh, <clears throat> I believe the internal width of these rims should be something like 24 or maybe even 25 millimeters rim width. Okay, so both wheel sets, as you see, classical aluminum wheel sets with the combination of some uh, classical sealed cartridge bearing hubs and I forgot to mention here that when it comes to the Trek wheel set you are getting a Bontrager R3 tire. This is a 32 millimeter tire so a bit more wider than the Cannondale Synapse. Again excellent in my book just because it's going to give you a bit more air volume in this tire. But again both wheel sets there's not much in it between them. They are so similar and uh, it is what it is, about 2,000 grams for this classical aluminum wheel set. I'm just not sure with the wheel set uh, from the Cannondale Synapse, uh, doesn't mention here, is it uh, already converted tubeless, uh, tubeless ready, or do you have to convert it on your own when you get the bike? So this is something you can check with the Cannondale uh, bike dealer. Now let's talk about some of the smaller components like the handlebar stem, saddle and the seat post. So the handlebar and the stem with the Cannondale Synapse bike is the Cannondale's own production classical aluminum handlebar and the stem. There is no proprietary pieces here. Everything is classical and simple, easy to replace, upgrade in the future, easy to adjust your position on the bike. So perfectly fine in my opinion. And I'm definitely not bothered. You shouldn't be bothered that this is aluminum pieces. On the other hand, when we look at the track, uh, what are you getting with the handlebar and the stem? So this is again an in-house brand of Bontrager. You are getting the Bontrager Elite uh, aluminum handlebar. And also there's going to be the Bontrager RCS Pro stem. Again, uh, aluminum pieces, both of them. Nothing is proprietary here. Separate pieces, easy to upgrade, change, easy to adjust your position. So I'm really glad that both of these bikes have no proprietary pieces when it comes to a handlebar and the stem. Now let's talk about the uh, saddle and the seat post. So the saddle on Cannondale is Physique Aliante Delta, perfectly fine saddle, Physique. Since saddles are always a bit of uh, personal preference, you can easily replace it if you really don't like it. But the thing that bothers me with the Cannondale here is the seat post. So the Cannondale is offering their own Cannondale aluminium seat post, 27.2 millimeters in diameter, and I just don't understand why Cannondale didn't use a nice carbon fiber seat post on this bike, because it will definitely contribute to soaking up even more of the road bumps. Because when you look at the Trek bike, the Trek is using, okay, an in-house Bontrager uh, saddle and it is using a uh, Domani carbon fiber uh, seat post which is definitely a better solution than the Cannondale bike because as I said this seat post carbon fiber one will definitely soak up a bit more of the road bumps. So this is a bit of a negative thing with the Cannondale Synapse using this uh, classical aluminum seat post. There's no need for that in today's world of the bikes. And of course, I will just mention here that uh, Cannondale gives you their Cannondale wheel sensor, which of course can pair with any onboard computer and track your speed, distance and all other parameters. And it is uh, this bike comes with their smart sense lights doesn't have the radar, you have to pay extra if you want to have the, the radar on this bike. On the other hand, with the Trek, as I said, the secret sauce is a bit in the Trek ISO speed decoupler, definitely superb smoother ride. And also the Trek has a nice storage on the down tube where you can, where you can put some of your smaller tools inside uh, that storage. And as I see here, a uh, track nicely gives the data about the total weight of the bike for the size 56 it's 8.9 kilograms. When you add the pedals on top of it, let's add another 300 grams. 
So we are probably closer to 9.2 kilograms. I would expect that the Cannondale Synapse will be a bit heavier just because of these lights on the bike. So as you see, you are getting the front light and the rear light on this bike as a, as a part of this uh, smart sense package and also there is a battery on the down tube so all in all probably another you know 300 grams 400 grams on top of it so definitely this bike out of the box might be closer to something like <clears throat> 9.7 kilograms compared to about 9.3 kilograms from the track domain again the point of both of these bikes is not to be you know light and stiff the point is to be as smooth as possible endurance geometry long days in the saddle so all in all in a summary what is my advice to you should you go ahead and buy this uh, cannondale synapse carbon 2 bike or should you just go ahead and buy the trek domani sl6 bike well i will give you an advice like this if you are looking for an absolute superb smooth ride something like the rolls royce of the uh, car world then definitely you should go with the trek domani bike Although it is a bit uh, more expensive at 4,700 US dollars, it's definitely much more smoother bike than the Cannondale Synapse. On the other hand, if you are looking for uh, something that has uh, a bit of, let's say, the latest tech when it comes to this kind of lighting smart sense system, then definitely you should uh, go ahead for the Cannondale Synapse carbon bike. If it's my money on the line, I would definitely pay 4,700 US dollars and just go for the Trek Domani SL6 road bike. So I think this is going to be it for today. I hope you like what I'm doing. And if you do, keep on watching, keep on liking. And as always, I will see you soon in the next episode. Cheers.